Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Definitely with me, George Ellis. Um, hope you enjoyed these episodes so far. Like, what do you think about them? Um, and stuff. And if you guys ever want me to do a walkthrough of Definitely again, or like, I do lots of. Walk I like walkthroughs of MMOs and stuff. Oh, some things that some some games I like walkthroughs. Like I don't like I don't really like GTA that much. GTA San Andreas was my best one. San Andreas was my best GTI that I ever played. Yeah, I, I like, I, I, I think I like MMOs. I really like doing more sort of MMOs. And also kind of racing games as well, like... I like doing MM, I don't, I like doing more sort of racing games. Grand Theft Auto is... I find Grand Theft Auto a harder racing game than than um, um, yeah. I find Grand Theft Auto harder. I find I uh, for the motorsport like EV racing game. Yeah, for the motorsport, it's just like um, I wouldn't say for the motorsport for realistic. Because the thing is, like, if if you want it to be realistic, then it wouldn't have like. I don't I know. Used to really. look up here at night and wonder what the hive were doing. But the only activity I could ever pick up was hazy, like it was blocked or buried. For the most part, it's just like an arcade racing game. It's not really like a realistic racing game. Like, you know, it's like like a like a racing 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 game, like a championship racing game. Yeah, on the uh, that feels more like on the uh, GT6 side. Grand no thick side. That's it more like a I can't wait for the to just search for a way into the high game. fortress. But he just and, disappeared. Um, Let's pick up his one his last known coordinates are up ahead. One day I would like to, you know, get an extra one and uh record uh Xbox One and Xbox three sixty and Xbox and the original Xbox as well. So I'm gonna record like, and then I can record like all the, all the Xbox games because I really like recording. The Guardian's really last like. report said he'd captured this old accelerator from an unknown fallen house. Like whenever I feel down and stuff, and um, whenever I feel down and stuff about not having a car and you know just general, I feel like my life is like crap. But then I go onto YouTube and I think, you know, whenever I feel down and crap, I just like to talk to you guys and on YouTube and stuff. By the way, you guys are awesome. Some know, of this equipment shows recent activity. Had to be the Guardian's ghost. Let me do all this stuff. Because without, without you guys, I don't think I would have been... I think I would, would have been busy All right. going. He was looking for the remains of an old colony base. Not so far. Crap. Maybe he's still there.
What's the hour point, sir? It's not the hour. It's the Grab your sparrow now. We're late. The colony base he was looking for should be on the other side of the ridge. This is where he was headed. Looks like he set up camp here. Let's see what he left behind. His notes, they're all about a place called the Temple of Croton. It's not far from here.
The ground here is hollowed out for miles. Who knows what's happening under your feet? I think we found the temple. Up ahead, Guardian down. There's nothing left. Not even the light. Where's his ghost? Where the hell was that? Where the hell was that? She. She's not even at the end. It's about destiny. Oh, I think that's what destiny downside was. That like we may want to move back. That like every I think every change when they got this game of uh, the uh, story and the stuff because it doesn't really explain. We've woken the hive. Anyway, you know, you remember a lot of video I was watching about the guy. And we were fucking being nice to him, you know? And he was just being strapped, like, a dickhead to him, like, saying, oh, I love you, you know? But, yeah, you know? All he wanted to do, he, he get our money back. I'm picking up the dying light of a ghost inside.
ghost is deep, but I can still the read some of its now. memories. The hive are raising an army here, preparing to invade Earth. We need to stop her. <laughs> Yeah, we ran. Um, you know, I guess sometimes some people don't give you money. You gotta give it up, but. You gotta just gotta give it up and stuff. Right. Not something you can't let really it go, you know. You still gotta fight for it, you know. You gotta fight your way through. She got being nasty. Interesting. They're being a dick to you. Give my regards to the enemy. I mean, like, if they be a dick to you, then you should have the right to be a dick to them. And also, I think that's ridiculous that the police can't help you out with anything like that. Yeah, they refuse to give you your money, but I think the police should have, you know, fully control on what they, you know, on what happened. So, like, someone complained, like, saying, oh, I can't get my money back and stuff, but the guy won't give me my fucking money back. Then, the police should have the power to, should be allowed to, you know, step in and, you know. It may not be a big issue. It may not be like a murder or something, but it is, you know, it's just helping someone out, isn't it? Getting their money back at the end of the day. I don't know what my face when I was in the bar. Oh, I don't know why.
There's got to be a way to find out what the hive are planning. That ghost we recovered found a library in their fortress called the World's Grave. It's said to hold everything they know of Earth. If you can get us down there, I'll steal all I can. That's level eight. I wonder if you want a gun in for like before I The world's grave is deep in their fortress, but according to the ghost we found, there's an ancient knight who protects it. I can lead us to him, but you'll have to face him to find the grave. I don't like any of those guns, no. A, they're not automatic machine gun. Tore into the moon. Filled it oh, with shit. all sorts of chambers and catacombs. go. Yeah. It's a whole necropolis down here. Sometimes. Uh, 
won't have a lot of them. I can remove my violin. Powerful. But this may hold the key to finding the grave. I can't believe I got through all of them. I'll have to kill him. I got through all of them eight times. I could have died. to the grave. I know where we're heading. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill this one. I don't have time for you guys. This should lead us right to the grave. The world's grave, not ours. Yeah, we don't have a grave, do we? I think the I think it's ridiculous in this country that the police don't have access to when someone, you know, takes your money. Because that is basically stealing. That is basically stealing. That is actually a really serious crime. Because what happens if someone pays hundred pounds, like five thousand pounds to ward a car, and then. And then, like, they, they thought they were getting a car, but they didn't. That could be a real serious crime. But, you know, it's not it's not worth the next... That's it. There it is. ...than um, killing someone. Probably killing someone's more... Probably killing someone's more interesting. Well, yes, it is, but... You know, show his money, man. Spain, the police are more organised because they have three, they have three laid police. They have the Guardia Civil, which is like, uh, like looking after the environment and animals and stuff. And then they have the police locale, which is basically like looking after, looking after people and stuff. And then they have the, the Guadalajara Bill, which is like the main police and stuff. Like they deal with all this the murders right and stuff. 
and I think we should have in here. But ridiculously enough, the government doesn't have the doesn't have enough money to hire, you know, hire a policeman. And also, she sat down there. Oh, fuck off, you! Oh my god! This should lead us right to the grave. Yeah, the government sucks. The world's grave. Few policemen, and you know we've had that bomb, that bomb attack, and like half a billion people died. Why well, don't? Probably could have saved more people if we had more policemen. If it's a money issue and the government hadn't, doesn't have more money, I mean, if I get paid from YouTube, I'm happy to pay, you know? I'm happy to pay, like, anything, you know? I would rather, you know, I'll... You make the street safe. Why don't people do it for free or something? You know, that's a little job they can do for free, a voluntary job. Like volunteering. You know, I would volunteer. I'll probably volunteer after my work on Monday. That's it. There it is. I'd volunteer in the afternoon. Not the street side. No. Oh my god. But seriously, he's still in someone's money, and they're not like, and then saying like, right oh, getting grave. someone to buy something from the shop, the world's and, not you know, not returning the money, saying like, you bought a thing for 20 quid and they didn't turn over money. Basically criminal. I can understand if they if it's like one pound, and, uh, don't pay your money, it's not that, to be honest, it's not that bad of a deal, but the thing is, it's 20 quid, and 20 quid is quite a bad, quite a few amount of money to people, and stuff, I mean, come on, like, why can't they have the police, you know, Police, you know, they say the police, you know, they have free to protect the world and stuff, but they don't, you know. They're shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I know, like, the police are supposed to protect people from dying and stuff, but what's the point when someone, you know, But they can help out with like money issues as well. Like my care told me. I think I looked at someone the other day and they spent like five thousand seven thousand pounds on a car and they thought they were getting a car but it turned out it was someone stealing their money. That's it. There it is. And also, you know, PlayStation and thing can do it that well. Uh, like, could could you someone stole your money? Could I? I I I, um, I looked up one YouTuber, aka Sean Sean, his name was, and then like his bank card was linked to PlayStation Four Network. 
and then some of them, someone got his code and stole his money, and then he got half his money back, which was pretty cool by PlayStation. Pretty good. And now that's what, that's what I think police should be doing as well. I mean, maybe they should have another class of policemen who just generally help out with people who've got money trouble and stuff. No? When I break in, they're going to come after us. Make sure you're ready. Oh my god, I got no ammo. Oh my god, what the fuck? I need to get more ammo on this machine gun. He took me all out with one shot. How the hell did they do that? Oh my god, that was stupid. Yeah, but they should literally have someone I break in, like just below, you know. Make sure you're ready. Police patrol helping out with someone who got issues with money and stuff. Just that and other. Could, could, could A, people could be really like people like me, especially, especially, well, probably not like me, because I quite, I understand a bit of, you know, the thing. But other people can be pretty bothered and stay like, oh, well, oh. and you can get someone like, what, to a vulnerable person who's like, oh, to saying like, oh, this is really good, you should buy this and stuff. And then it turns out not to be, you know, good, and then they take it back and say, oh, no, you can't get the money back. That, so you spend 90 quid on this, but you can't get the money back. Which is... Government, the government sitting up, sitting on the chair, and she's not got enough money to. Where did all this money go anyway? I'm building houses. Okay, what's the point of building houses when like people getting their money stolen by like, idiot who work in shops and they just take their money and stuff? You know? What's the point of that? If nobody's actually going to buy those houses, if they're getting their money, you know, if they're wasting like £7,000 on a car, which stands up. And don't turn out to be a car, turn out to be a good car. And yeah, because nobody's gonna buy those houses if 
the room by about seven thousand pounds on the call that went to come. And it don't come. It don't come. I mean like sure how can it cost like seven thousand pounds? Yeah. But the thing is if you if like that people could spend seven thousand pounds on something else. Like brand new car instead of like paying a guy completely like you know. I don't understand how you can let someone in this well and then like let them walk all over like special new people and then like say and then like let the people and then like even though they've taken your money you can't do nothing about it. And they report saying, Oh look, I just spent seven thousand pounds on the car, all. but it turns out to be a complete car. I don't understand. If I was taken by the darkness, you know, and they've been like, seeding earth for centuries, hell, waiting for their gods to return. Get their money back. I'll warn the city. Let's get out of here. The fucking government in this world, England. I know everybody voted for her, but she's pretty shit, actually. Be better off voting for me because I'll, I'll be the best governance in the world, but you know, but I can't, you know, I can't decide. It'd be better off voting for me, but like, you know, A, I can't, A, I can't read that well. So. <sighs> Yeah, then in the uh, third, yeah, that third, like, I just really want to bow by that kitty that everyone give her, you know, money back and stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm just really, I'm just really, you know, annoyed that policemen can't do nothing about it and stuff. And we haven't got enough cops in this world to, you know, do everything. And we've only got one throw of policemen who focus on, like, you know, the, uh, just, um,
Anyway, now we have a rule now. I'm getting rid of the um the uh what do you call it? You know, the people who come from different countries that, you know, do stuff here. Don't get rid of the hard work on one. Get rid of the lady fucking one. You know, like the one, the one, the one I told you I had today that I wouldn't give her her money back. Everything's red. My guy looking like red, red, red gloves, red everything. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for. I'm gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. And I'll see you guys whenever. Alright, bye guys, peace, love you, bye.